Hey, it's John here at Hyped It. And in this video, I wanna show you how to get some amazing new insights on the performance of your Spotify ad campaigns that you're running with Hyped It so that you can scale your campaigns and scale your efforts to get even more listeners, more fans, and more streams. I'm looking at my Hyped It dashboard right now. I'm on the Ads Campaigns tab, and if I scroll down, and I go into the settings of one of my campaigns here, you'll see that when I launched this campaign, Hyped It helped me identify some target interests for the audiences that would see my ad. In this particular case, it was Deep House, Bob Sinclair, Mark Knight, Dennis Farrer, and Eric Price. And this is all great, but how do I know which of these target interests performs the best for me? So that when I launch new campaigns, I can bring those best interests into those new campaigns and help them take off sooner, hit the sweet spot sooner, scale faster. To answer this question, we just launched a brand new feature in Hypedate, and I wanna show you how to access that. So I'm gonna go back to my dashboard, and then I'm gonna scroll back to the same ad campaign, and I'm gonna click on the analytics icon over here. And chances are this looks very familiar, right? You have the time frame here, visits, clicks, total engagement, the timeline. That shows you how your campaign has been doing over the last seven days. But here's what's new. If you scroll down further, you're gonna see this section here, top audiences. And in top audiences, Hyped It takes all the information about all the different ads and ad sets within your campaign and breaks it down by target interest. And the order for these here is from high engagement to low engagement. So I can see that Mark Knight is the most engaged audience that I'm attracting to this song, followed by Bob Sinclair, Deep House, Eric Prides, and Dennis Farrer. But I can also see that the Mark Knight audience, even though it's very engaged, is very small. And I know this anecdotally because the Mark Knight interest, it's a fairly small target group. But Bob Sinclair is much bigger. So you can see here that about 45% of all my traffic comes from Bob Sinclair. And it converts really well at 62.81%, just followed by Deep House at about 42% of all my traffic converting at 60%. And that's the kind of action I would expect here. I would expect the audience that performs a bit better and is sizable to get a little bit more traffic. Full disclaimer, this doesn't always hold true because audience size really matters and all in the Deep House audience still gonna be bigger than the Bob Sinclair audience. So those two might trade places over time. But I also can see that Eric Price, for example, is another small audience and at 50% doesn't perform all that well for the song and Dennis Farah is in last place here, performing relatively poorly for engagement, and so no surprise that it's hardly getting any visits and clicks. With this overview, the amazing thing now is that I can instantly see which interests I should carry forward into future campaigns. So if I have a song that I'm promoting on Spotify that sounds similar to the one that I've been promoting here, I definitely want to make sure I carry over Mark Knight, Bob Sinclair, and Deep House. And then with Eric Price or Dennis Farrer, those might be two interest slots that I could forego and try some other interests instead. And with that knowledge, I'm gonna find better audience, more engaged audience that help me get more visits, more clicks, more fans, more streams, more listeners for my budget and therefore help me scale my music. But that's not all. There's another new section that we added here and this is top ad videos. Chances are when you created your campaign, you had hyped it render three videos for you, each of which represents a different audio snippet of the song. And the reason why you did three is that you wanted to give the ads AI the opportunity to test these and figure out which of the audio previews is best at converting first time listeners into streamers on Spotify. And in this particular case, the huge winner was ad video number two. So the audio preview that was part of this video here performed a lot better than the others. And you can see over the last seven days, virtually all the traffic went to ad video number two and the engagement has been the highest. And if you don't remember what video that was or what the audio preview was, all you have to do is click on this little eye icon over here. It's gonna open the video, you can play it, and then you'll know what audio preview that was. And if you wanted to relaunch the campaign with different interests, you could even download this video here and reuse it in another ad campaign because you already know that video here is a winner. And that's it, that's what I wanted to show you here, our new top audiences analytics and our new top ad videos analytics. With the insights from those, you'll be able to run future campaigns more successfully and scale them faster for more listeners, more fans, and more streams on Spotify. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, don't forget to hit the like, the subscribe, and the bell icon below so you can get more videos like this on YouTube 
how to scale your music on Spotify. And also stay tuned for the very unexpected and not at all self-promotional sponsor of this video. Want to get your music heard on Spotify with AI? I just launched a brand new video training program called the Spotify Growth Switch, where I show you how to start growing real listeners, real fans, and real streams on Spotify in less than 10 minutes using software and AI. I've used the Spotify Growth Switch system to now grow my music to over 7 million streams and tens of thousands of monthly listeners on Spotify. This works for any music genre. It gets you real fans and listeners super fast, and it's extremely easy to set up literally just like flipping a spotlight switch for your music. Despite using AI, you don't need to know nothing about tech stuff in order to be successful with this. I've had the tremendous privilege of helping multiple tens of thousands of music artists grow their music on Spotify, many of which have grown to much larger numbers, lots more listeners, lots more streams than I have using the systems that I've taught. Makes me so proud of their success. And so if you want to get more real listeners, real fans and real streams for your music fast using state of the art software and AI, then click the link below this video and check out the Spotify Growth Switch. I can't wait to help you grow your music on Spotify and I look forward to seeing you on the inside.